Good morning, everyone. My name is Tianfeng Liu, a PhD student from Tsinghua University. Today, I will present my work, BGL, GPU Efficient Geo Training by Optimizing Graph Data I.O. and Pre-Processing. This is a collaborative work with the University of Hong Kong, Baidance, and Cornell University. The goal of the graph neural network is applying the deep learning method on graph. GN model takes the graph as in input, and the each hidden layer uses some aggregation function, activation function, and the final output of the model is embedding of node edges and graphs. And the embedding is used for the downstream label prediction or the graph generation. Since the full batch training needs a large GPU memory to load the graph, it cannot to scale to very large graph. Hence, existing gene training system adopt sampling-based gene training. In this method, system sample a subgraph from the original graphs. The sampling-based gene training system has three components. Graph store contains the graph structure data and the related feature data. Sampler samples a subgraph, and the worker on GPU train dedicated GN models. Each training iteration contains three stages. The first stage is the subgraph sampling. Samplers sub a sub sample a subgraph from original graph and send it to worker. The second stage is the feature retrieving. Worker retrieves the node feature and places them on G GPU. The third stage is the model computation. Workers train gene model on GPU with forward and backward computation. We refer to the first two stages as the data IO and pre-processing. Unfortunately, existing gene training systems suffer from the data IO and pre-processing bottleneck. We profile two represent system, Euler and DGL. As shown in the left figure, nearly 80% of the training time was spent in data IO and pre-processing. Such long pre-processing time led to low GPU utilization. DJL and Euler only achieved 15 and 5% GPU utilizations. Such low performance comes from a huge gap between the pre-processing speed and the model computation speed. Without optimization, Using 100 gigabytes NIC and the pre-processing speed is 60 batches per second. This is due to the large data size of the one mini batch. On the other hand, the model computation speed is very fast. For a GPU server with 8 100 GPU, it can, sum, it can uh, consume 400 batches per second. The reason is that uh, SOTA GN models are shallow and the, and the computation is very fast. Hence, there is a huge gap between the pre-processing and the model computation. Uh, we, I, we identified three challenges in, re in removing pre-processing bottleneck. The biggest bottleneck comes from the feature retrieving. 97% of the data in many batches are node features. State-of-the-art work, pair graph, adopted a static cache policy by caching features of the high degree nodes. Static means no replacement at runtime. However, there is a trade-off between the static cache policy and the dynamic cache pol policy. Static cache policy has small cache overhead but a low cache hit ratios. On the other hand, the dynamic cache policy has high hit ratios but a large cache overhead. So the question is, can we achieve a good trade-off between the cache hit ratio and the cache overhead? Beyond the node feature retrieving, the, ca the, com the communication of the subgraph sampling renders another bottleneck. We find existing partition algorithm is not scalable to building node graph and friendly to GN models. The ideal graph partition for GN models should meet three goals. The first goal is to preserve the multi-hop connectivity for the subgraph sampling. The second goal is to balance the training node between different partitions. And the third goal is to scale to the building node graph. The left, left table shows the none of the existing algorithm meet the three goals at the same, same time. Hence, we need, a we need an algorithm which is scalable and friendly to subgraph sampling. The third challenge comes from the considering all training pipeline stage at the same, same time. We find the gene training pipeline is more, much more complex than DN training. 
uh, different stages can consume different uh, resources, which lead to resource contention. We find if all if the system leave all stages fully complete, the resource contention lead to per, per performance. Hence, we need to alleviate the resource contention problem and balance the time of each stages. Uh, to address a bow challenge, we propose a novel system named BGL. For the first challenge, BGL adopts a new feature cache engine with the algorithm system co-design. For the second challenge, we propose a graph partition algorithm. This algorithm uses multi-level coordinate to reduce the size of the graph. And uh, for the second uh, challenge, we propose a uh, isolation based uh, resource isolation for the challenge three. We, uh, we formulate as an uh, optimization problem and assign the isolated resource to minimize the acceleration time of the each stage. Oh, oh, okay, let's first begin with the design of the feature cache engine. Uh, the first question is we want to support dynamic cache, so we need to un answer which dynamic cache policy should we use. We implemented the three pol popular policies with the constant time complexity. The cache hit ratio and the cache overhead is shown in this figure. Recall that the mi each mini batch only 20 milliseconds to compute the model. Uh, the first is a FIFO cache. It uh, meets the throughput requirement, but uh, with uh, very low cache hit ratios. And uh, the LRU and FU has much higher uh, hit ratios, but, uh, it, uh, but they have intolerable cache overhead. Hence, we use the FIFO cache policy, but uh, we propose a new method named the proximity aware audience to infer the FIFO cache hit, hit ratios. After the improvement, the FIFO cache achieves the highest cache hit ratios. Uh, the key idea of the proxy aware audience is to change the order of the selecting training node. We selected the training node based on the traversal based audience. Specifically, we use the BFS order. The insight of the, this idea is that we find each node appears more than once among different mini batches. So we can reuse the data by caching features in nearby batches, which is the so-called temporal locality of the gene training. The BFS traversal preserves the graph connectivity and increases the temporal locality. As shown in the example, after use the proxy aware only, FIFO cache a hit improves from 8 to 14. However, there is a trade-off between the improved temporal locality and ensure model convergence. Traversal based auditing increases the temporal locality but harms the GM model convergence since we didn't choose the node randomly and violate the ID requirement of the SGD. On the other hand, random auditing Always the ID requirement, but uh, has has per temporal locality. Proximity aware auditing balance above the trade off based on the SGD property. We find SGD is uh, robust enough, hence slightly relaxing does not uh, influence the convergence rate. So we introduced uh, two kinds, of, two types of uh, randomness. The first is uh, multiple sequence with a random BFS root, and the second is a circular random shifting of the each BFS sequence, as shown in the red figure. Another way to increase the cache hit ratio is to maximize the cache size. We found that since the gene model is small and shallow, uh, there are large free memory on CPU and uh, G GPU, hence BGL pro uh, adopts a two-level cache Jointly use the large and free CPU and the multiple GPU memory. The most important part of the feature cache engine is the multiple GPU cache. Recall that the, free, the feature retrieving has the largest communication traffic, hence we leverage MLink, which has a high bandwidth and a low latency inter GPU connection, and it can alleviate traffic in PCIe link links. We also design a cache workflow to guarantee consistency of the multiple, multiple cache buffers on dynamic cache policy. The second contribution of the BGL is a new graph partition. 
the partition algorithm has three steps. The first step is the multiple level coordinating to reduce the size of a gra graph. We, uh, the block generator, use a multi source uh, BFS to preserve the graph connectivity. The second step is the block connection and assignment. In this, this step, block assigner collects the block information and uh, apply a graded assignment heuristic to each block. The third step is the uncoordinated. Block generator maps the block to node in the original graph. Since uh, we use uh, multiple level coordinates to reduce the number of the nodes, uh, the partition algorithm has low time, select, time complexity and is friend to billion node graph. Uh, since the optimal partition is uh, NP-hard, we propose a new heuristic for assigned blocks by considering GPU re GN requirement. The heuristic contains three terms. The first term is considering the multiple block neighbors. The second term is the training node penalty. We want to enforce that each partition has the same number of the training node. And the third term is the node penalty term. We want to balance the number of nodes among, uh, among different uh, partitions. The third contribution of the BGL is the uh, training pipeline. We, div we divide the gene training pipeline into eight uh, stages as shown in the figure. However, there are three resource conditions in the pipeline. Stage one and stage two can compete for the CPU on the graph store server. Co stage four and stage five compete for the CPU contention on GPU worker. And uh, sta stage six and stage seven compete the PCIe bandwidth. We find if all the pre process all the process fully compete for re resource, the contention leads to poor performance. Hence, to resolve the problem, we propose a profiling-based resource allocation. We first profile the execution time of each stage and assign isolation resources to them. The optimization we, we formalize as an optimization problem. The optimization goal is to minimize the maximum completion time of the all stages, and uh, we assume and uh, the, uh, we, the, uh, the assumption is that uh, we assume all stages except the caching stages has a linear acceleration. For the caching stages, we use a fitting curve, fitting function. And uh, the constraint of this, this problem is the resource capacity of the CPU curve and the PCIe bandwidth. Uh, we use the blue, blue force to find uh, the optimal resources, and it takes a very short time. OK, we finish the design of the BGL and begin with the evaluation of the BGL. This, this paper shows the environmental Mm, experimental environment. We use four GPU servers and 32 CPU servers. And uh, this page shows the overall performance on three graphs uh, and uh, on three GA model and uh, ranging the number of the worker from one to eight. The summary is that BGL outperforms all other systems and the uh, geometric means is from uh, two times to 20 times. The improvement uh, uh, comes from a uh, uh, three-hour design. The first design is the feature cache engine. After use the uh, proxy aware audience, BGL achieves the highest uh, catch hit ratios and uh, improves the uh, 20% compared to the pair graph. And, uh, the, and, uh, we, and the BGL reduces the feature retrieving time significantly, just about uh, 80%. And uh, the second con contribution is the graph partition. So the graph partition improves the performance as well. BGL reduced the 20% sampling time during gene training and uh, reduced the cross partition communication from uh, 25 to 44 per percentage. And the partition time of the BGL is even faster than well-optimized G manner. And uh, by applying the resource as Isolation method, BGL achieves the best performance and the speed up is 2.7 uh, times. Uh, BGL also has a good scalability when scaled to multiple machines. As shown in the figure, BGL achieves 76% of the linear scalability. The limitation comes from the feature cache engine. Since the, G v, the GPU server, uh, our GPU server uses Evelink V2, which cannot communicate with other uh, machines. Hence, the feature cache engine cannot share GPU memory across the machines. 
Uh, BGL is also ro robust to different uh, hyperparameters. We use different uh, batch size, number of the layers, and a different uh, fan out. BGL outperforms the Euler BGL, uh, DGL as well. The speed up is uh, 10 times to 10 times. Uh, since the proxy weird outing changes the sampling order training node, we need to evaluate the model accuracy. As shown in the slide, BGL achieves the same test accuracy as the original DGL, and uh, due to the optimization of the BGL, the convergence is much faster. So here is the conclusion of the BGL. Uh, we found the performance of the e existing gene training system are limited by the data L and pre-processing bottleneck. We propose the BGL to alleviate the pre-processing bottleneck, and it contains three design choices. The first is a feature cache engine to reduce the traffic of the feature retrieving. The second is a novel graph partition algorithm to reduce the travel traffic of the subgraph sampling. And the third design is a profiling-based resource allocation to reduce the resource contention. And uh, the evaluation shows that BJ outperforms for state out uh, system, and uh, we will open the BGL on the GitHub. Okay, thanks everyone for listening.